Hey designers, so I just wanted to share a video on the speed design for the Rayloom Design League. This is a really great challenge, not only because you're practicing, you're also time boxing your work. And this is for me, one of the best ways to learn design. So putting a time limit on your challenge. And in this one, this is 30 minutes. They provided the file in the Figma community. The other nice thing about this is they provide some really high quality assets. So if you check out their YouTube video, where they have the community leader Josh Lowe and also Adam Mora. So in terms of my own design, I'm going to speed it up by 300 percentage. So just to show you, this is the original file and the duration is 30 minutes and 17 seconds. But what I'm going to do is actually speed it up three times. So hopefully it's around 10 minutes. OK, so I just quickly put up the Pomo Timer app, which is 30 minutes and what I did is just take the uh, take their wireframe and I wanted to change the font to DM Sans, which I've used on a couple of videos and designs. So I was just looking at assets and thinking, what could I use? And I knew straight away that with products, you'd want to get the product shot and possibly with a person using it, but not necessarily have their face in it. So you can imagine yourself using the app and this I read this somewhere can't remember where exactly um, but I thought that's why that shot stuck out at me and with the colors I thought the lime the green is, is very um, eye catchy um, and yeah I just started to look at the buttons and I thought yeah why don't we go rounded um, to match the shape of the, the cards with the border radius even though it's fully circle and yeah, I just kept looking at the assets. What can I use? And I looked at some like lifestyle shots and I thought this is pretty nice. So one thing about this Rayloom challenge is they provide some really good assets. And that is a massive thing when it comes to design is finding some really good assets because they can make a huge difference in your design. So here I'm just using a bit of typography. I'm actually using auto layout just so I can space things out between the columns. And I thought this would save me time. Um, and then I thought, yeah, what, how can I make that little heading stand out? And I just use it as a highlight, which you've probably seen in other good designs. And then I decided to go dark because sometimes you want certain sections to have different colors just to play around. You want to have white section, a gray section, a dark section, a colored section. So I thought that dark section worked well with the image. So same thing here, I'm just using auto layout. Maybe that, that killed a bit of time. Um, but in terms of typography, I thought, why don't I make the heading stand out, make it really big. And I use the four point or eight point system. So I'm incrementing by four or eight or two even. So I thought, let's make this a really big heading. Let's try a different layout. So I, at the here, I got left and then the second one is on the right. And then this one is centered. So I thought, why not make use of the UI shots and I've seen this somewhere else uh, again my memory uh, leaves me and this is why it's really good to check out inspiration but not just check them out because you're just consuming stuff you need to actually practice and apply it so therefore it's going to be ingrained in your brain <laughs> um, and the more you do it you're just going to end up doing good stuff so and not to say that you know, the designs I do is the greatest. They're, they're far from it. Um, but you'll find that the more you do this, the more you, you copy and consume great designs, you start to figure out how to do it yourself and you start to play around with it. You don't want to copy it exactly. You want to change things up. So here I'm just pretending like all the UI is floating around the copy. Um, so well, that's nice. And I thought to enlarge it a bit because sometimes you want there's these the images where they're out of the section so it feels or full bleed as you say there's no spacing on the left and the right or on the bottom so I thought why don't we make use of that you can imagine a nice animation where when you scroll it it zooms in and out or maybe there's a parallax thing going on so again here I, I thought why not make the CTA stand out because that's what you want the user to uh, click on make it nice and clickable So this was a section 
Um, yeah, that I was pretty happy with. And again, you just go into the next section. And so I thought, yeah, why, why not try these other images? So again, there's a theme where I'm not showing the face or they, they've got some really good images already. But that is the reason why you have an image with no face because you want the user to imagine themselves in that situation. So, so here I'm just playing with typography. I'm making the heading really big. Um, and I thought that image is, is, wasn't doing it for me. So again, I was having trouble copying images in. I don't know the shortcut. So that's something for me to practice on. So and once you know these shortcuts and if you, and when you do these speed designs, it's just, just gonna make it a lot more quick. So I thought one I made is the full size image with the yellow background. This is using all the uh, branding colors, you know, and I'm making use of the different section colors. So onto the FAQ, I think, let's see what I'm, I'm trying to do. There's a couple of things that I did try, but they didn't work out. So a CTA section, and again, the Rayloom, they provided a great wireframe, so all the layout is pretty good. I thought this image is really nice, and I saw this on their, their challenge video. One of the designers used this, and this really stood out. So I thought, yeah, why not use that as a, uh, a background image and like a CTA sec section. And here I'm just changing the buttons again to uh, fully rounded corners. Um, and I thought that was pretty simple. In terms of the footer, I didn't want to do anything crazy with the footer. Um, so let's see if I actually get to it straight away. So this is where I try to get a bit ambitious and I thought the, the bonus content voted by the community is to use the square shape, but I decided to use the triangle. So I thought, let's see, I can use the triangle in there. So I thought, yeah, why not put it in the background and just play around? And I thought maybe that's too strong. Let's play with opacity. And I think there's something you can do with, with the triangle, but I wasn't feeling it with, with the large background. So the idea for the footer, I thought, why don't I just make it a dark footer? And there's a really quick way of doing this, which is you, you use these select all colors. So here I went to selection colors and I started changing them. And that's a really quick way of doing it. Um, but you have to uh, play around in order to get the right um, colors. So I just did a really quick change there, made it a dark footer. So I've seen a lot of dark footers. So I thought, can I try something out with the hero section rather than just stick with that? And as you, as you know, if you've seen the videos on the channel, we always try something different. Here I thought, why not make border radius on the top right top left or even a, to make it look like a card i thought that's a nice little thing we can add in so it's got that card feel uh, so i wasn't feeling the triangle um, so i'll try and blur effects but i really like the border radius on the sections because that kind of gives it that card look so at this point i'm thinking can i do something with the triangle in the hero section and sometimes you see the shapes behind the the product or the object. I think that is quite good. But is there any real meaning to it? So I thought if, if the logo had a, a shape, then maybe. But I was just playing around at this point and felt maybe that's too much. There's not real meaning or association with, with the um, logo. Maybe a circle would be better. So... At this point, I'm thinking, yeah, let me just play around. Let me just change position. And this is a nice thing about it. You could just try things out when you got the structure down. So here is where I start to do different variants of the hero section. So at this point, I'm thinking, can I do a dark version and just change the, the order of the image? So here I'm thinking, yeah, why don't I try a dark version And this is where I just change the fill, use the selection colors to change them to uh, white, I believe. Or maybe not, actually, yeah, I just went with dark. 
behind the, the main image. <laughs> Can't remember everything. Um, so here I just copied the whole thing and thought, can I, can I play around? Can I just see how it looks in there? And I thought that is quite a nice variant. So here I'm just looking for other product shots with a hand and can it show off the app? I think that is pretty strong as well. You can imagine a video maybe in there. So here I'm quite happy with, with the overall design and I think now we're getting near to the end. So I like the highlights on the subheadings and I've seen that on a lot of designs. Can I use the shape near the headings? I thought why not have it on the top center of the section? It's like an introduction to the next section. I thought that's quite useful. So I started putting it in other sections and this is the point where I run out of time. It got to 30 minutes or so. Let me know what you think about this design in the comments. Have you done this challenge? I would highly recommend that you take this on and I'll see you in the next video.